how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. This happens. So no exaggeration, yesterday, we lost 50 members on the channel. Did people cancel their memberships? No. There was a member bomb last month, and the member bomb expired. So, we're back down below 600 again, and now we got our build of selves back up. Now the good news is, between Baldur's Gate 3 on this first stream, which I'm really hoping with all the hype that people put behind this game that people are going to show up, engage, and support this game. And of course with tonight's late stream, which is Street Fighter 6 where I'm going to hit master rank with Dalsim if everything goes according to plan, so let's hope for the best. I'm hoping we can get some more traction back and get back. I mean, right now my goal for today is 575. I feel that's reasonable. It's less than 20 members today. I'm not going to say, oh, let's just go right for 600. I don't think we're going to get 50 members today, okay? But if you like the content, if you would like to support the channel today, a great way to do it would be to either become a member or to give memberships to the channel. That would help tremendously. The community would love it as well. It's not just about me. It's the community getting something awesome out of it. Right now, there's a Christmas event going on where people are nominating and voting for games and members get priority in that. So please consider if you like it today, become a member or give some memberships to the channel. Great way to help out. Okay. Begathon. You know, people were saying e-begging. I have to agree. And by the way, I'll say this up front. Please, no spoilers. Especially when I'm starting the game and I'm trying to get into it and everything. Don't spoil things. If I'm stuck on something and I ask for help, then by all means, yes. But don't just immediately just say, So by the way, this fight immediately, just do this one thing, you'll instantly win. It's a cheap way to beat it. Don't do that shit. Alright, let me figure stuff out for myself. Okay? And, and go from there. And try to enjoy the game and immerse myself in it. Now listen, I welcome advice or feedback. You know, oh, Phil, just so you know, if you befriend this person, it's gonna, be, it's gonna benefit you. Okay. But if you say, by the way, Phil, here's how you do everything in the game, that's too much. You understand? We gotta find that happy balance where there's interaction, and we're all enjoying the game together, but it's not like I have to put myself in an isolation booth to ignore you guys to avoid spoilers, too. I wanna find that happy medium. Okay? It's not a legit playthrough. I'm saying that up front. This is not a legit playthrough. This is meant to be a playthrough that's gonna be very, very interactive with my viewers. They're going to be guiding me through the game and telling me what to do and showing me funny stuff. I've already said this up front, and I'm saying it again. Alright, I want you to understand this. Once other new big RPGs come out, those will be my focus, and this game is going to go on the back burner. If this game is a 100 plus hour game, there is no way I am beating it before other RPGs come out. Just off the top of my head, okay? We've got Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, and we've got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming out within the first two months of 2024. To me, those are bigger, more important games because they're new hot games and franchises I've enjoyed. I love Like a Dragon, I loved uh, Yakuza 7, I can't wait to play the new one. And Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I'm not kidding, I'm actually super hyped for. Reason being, now we know it's a new game. This is not the plotline of Final Fantasy VII. This is its own new plotline with reimagined stuff, okay? So I'm just making that clear, alright? So, lots of it now, likely lots of it in early January, but then it's gonna basically be dramatically reduced or on hold in January. It'll come back and I promise you I will finish it as long as people are enjoying it, showing up to the streams, engaging and supporting, I will continue to play this game. It's all about this first, and then the content second. But we have to have all those things happening. It can't just be, I'm playing it for me, or an audience of 10 people, and, you know, no one cares, and everyone screams, play other games. That's literally what happened with Divinity Original Sin 2. Everyone screamed at me to play it, so I played it. I played it 60 hours, and the last 30 hours, no one cared, and I kept trying to persevere, and it didn't work. Okay? Oh my god, he's drinking wheelchair. Donations. I told you guys, for the amount of hype this game got, and the amount of people that screamed at me to play it, I'm expecting no less than 1,000 viewers on today's stream. Once we start with gameplay, there better be 1,000 people here. I'm serious. Well, that, that was the most hype I've seen for a game, people yelling and screaming at me. For months, why are you skipping the game of the year? How dare you? I expect 1,000 viewers on this stream. We're not going to get that, but I'm expecting it. You understand me? I guess we'll see. Will 1,000 people actually show up? How many people do we have right now? Probably 400. 814. Why do we have 814 people on my podcast? I have no idea. But we. But anyway, we need 200 more. 
So if you're at one of the 800, call your friends, call your neighbors, call your family members, tell them something's going on on the internet right now, you gotta check it out. Well, what is it? Never mind that. Get to DSP Gaming. And then they'll show up and they'll be like, what the hell is this? Why'd they tell me to show up here? Trick them into watching. No, don't trick them into watching. I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, I hope if you're here to watch me, you'll give it a shot. Let's see what happens. All right? Let's see what happens when I start with the game. Hopefully it's good and it goes well. A $3 tip. Let's just listen to this. A $3 tip talking about Boogie talking about his finances publicly, right? Which you should never do. It's a horrible thing to do. And then talking about me going on a show to talk about finances. Okay. Allow me to give you my honest answer on this one. Are you ready? No, 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 no. No, 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 fuck, no, 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 maybe, no, no, I am not Boogie, I'm not going on anyone's show to talk about my personal fucking finances, because I'm not an idiot, I'm a streamer, I play games, my life is no one's concern, my personal shit is no one's fucking business, no one needs to know about it, because I'm not an asshole, all right? No. Don't involve me with your bullshit. Toxic behavior. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna propose this to the audience, to the public. Right now, I have 1,053 people on this podcast. All 1,000 of you, listen up, because how would you take this, all right? So, first I'm gonna read the message, okay? So I want you to hear the message attached to a contribution first, then I'm gonna tell you the contribution. And I want you to tell me how I'm supposed to judge this, all right? This is good. I'm glad I have a live audience for this one. Okay, here we go. Here's the message attached. Because I'll read the message first. So I used to be a fan. Now I'm one of your detractors. But I like Baldur's Gate 3 so much, I'll throw you a bone, because I can afford it, and I think it's funny. What does that even mean? I'm going to support you because I think it's funny to support. I, I don't get that. Okay? By the way, you have 1,000 plus viewers, so eat your heart out, Phil. Tis the season, fuck face. So, the message is, I used to be a fan, but now I'm a detractor, but I like this game so much, I'm gonna still support you. By the way, you have over a thousand viewers, eat your heart out, tis the season, fuck face. That's his message, okay? So he's like, alright, whatever. You know, big deal, move on. The guy sent me $200, right? So now the question is, the guy literally admitted he's a detractor. He literally publicly said, I'm a detractor. So, you expect that I'm gonna trust your $200 tip. <laughs> Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I'm going to trust it. Like, what's to stop you from trying to charge this back later? Like, if you were smart, you would have been like, all right, so I don't really like you that much, but happy holidays. I really like this game. But you write out an actual message like that. It's like, what makes you think I'm going to trust this? Right? Really? Like, <laughs> it, you could easily just charge it back. And then, you know, then you put me into a, a fucking annoying situation where I got to dispute it and shit. You know what I mean? You shouldn't have said that. Why would you say that publicly? Right? I just, that really baffles me. Oh my god, he's drinking piss. Or, or, okay, if you gifted a bunch of memberships to the channel, right? Or if you did a super, a super chat, those cannot be reversed. Those are, no matter what, those count and those help the channel. So if you did those, it'd be like, okay, this, even though this guy maybe doesn't always like me, he, you know, he's trying to help me out now because he, look, he's helping the community or whatever, or, you know, this is a way that can't be reversed. Like, how am I- I can't trust this. How can I trust a $200 tip from someone who literally just says, I don't like you, I'm a detractor. Right? I mean... <laughs> I, I don't even know what, how am I supposed to react to that. Right? I don't know. Exactly. Everyone's saying, so don't count it, and just- and don't trust it, because you know you're not keeping it. You're right. You're absolutely right. Like, here's the thing. If the guy hadn't said that, I would have been like, wow, $200 tip, everyone, celebrate. Let's get all the perks going. Let's get everything. I can't trust it. That could be out within minutes. That could be out within weeks. That could, he might wait three months and then charge it back. I can't trust it at all. You know? So, you know, all I'm going to say is if you're going to contribute like that, you got to wise up a bit, right? You do. You have to wise up a bit. Um, I can't, I'm, I'm literally saying thank you, but I can't trust you because of the way you just acted. So I'm not counting it towards the stream. I'm just not. I'm doing the wise thing. And if you charge it back, that way the money's still in there. I'm not going to spend it. I'm just going to leave it in there. Okay? I mean, that's pretty ridiculous that you would do that. 
I received an incredibly generous $50 tip from Dan the Man. I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look. It's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, we've obviously already hit the tier 3 tips goal, so no more goals today. Anything you know in ex excess is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you in advance to anyone who supports in any way, tips-wise. The extra money is always good. Uh, it would be great to hit the members goal now for the day. I like, in truth, I would love to get 600 members today because we were at 600 members yesterday. And then because I did a react day, we lost them all. No one was here to renew. It would be great to, to get that back up to where it was. But thank you guys. I mean, I'm not going to complain at all about support today. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get some pulls. Come on. Pull the gotcha. Pull on my gotcha. Come on. You know we got to get some pulls. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. 